be examining here. I uh, wanted to talk a little bit about using harnesses from manufacturers versus uh, wiring your own lights. Me and a friend of mine were talking about whether or not the relays make a big difference on the amperage load um, coming in. And uh, yeah, excuse the wind, it's a little bit windy today. But uh, we are talking about that and we were just wondering like how much of a difference would there be, um, if any, whether you're wiring your lights completely all the way up by yourself or if you're just using the factory harness. So I did a little test to see exactly what happens when you use a manufacturer's harness. So right now, what I'm gonna do is show you what the amperage load is on this particular light right here. Um, the light's already set to do the fog and the spot at the same time. And I've got my battery over here. This is uh, Dakota Lithium, 18 amp hour. And you can see on the meter that's hooked to it, you can see that it's reading 13.27 volts right now. That goes out to a couple pigtails. And I've got those quick connects that I got off of Amazon. They work really well for testing things and also in interior environments. Those are not waterproof, obviously. Um, and they have a neat little hole that you can test from. You stick your leads in there to test your amps and various other things. Um, so this wires up to this harness, which came with the aux beam lights. And um, I currently do not have the ground fastened because that's going to energize the circuit through the harness. And then when I cut the switch on, the relay gets trips, completes the circuit, and then it feeds power to the light. The light, I have, obviously I ran out of red wire, so when I ran these, blue was the positive and brown was the uh, ground. The white wire on them is the trigger wire for the different modes, so it's not necessary to use. Uh, so I'll go ahead and hook this up, and I'll show you what the amperage load is with the harness from the manufacturer. One second. Okay, the light is turned on. As you can see, the circuit is energized, and we are reading. 1.48 amps draw on a single light. Voltage is down to 13.18 volts and you're reading 19 and a half watts for that one single light. Now I'm going to unhook this and show you what the difference is by using the harness that I made that goes out to the light. I'll do that now. not being used hooked up to these pigtails back here to the battery and now we have 1.29 amps 13.18 volts 17 watts 
and that's using my own circuit that I made. So it's very interesting that uh, you show a decrease in amperage and wattage and I'm pretty sure that the lumens is probably suffering a little bit due to this. The only explanation I have is that maybe there's an increased resistance due to the length of wire used by the harness as well as going through a relay. Um, that's the only thing I can really come up with. But then you weigh the option is, does it really affect the lumens? Well, I don't have a way to test lumens. Uh, but it is a pretty significant difference. Um, testing the same light on two different circuits and all I'm doing is shortening the wire um, by a little bit. So I'm getting more efficiency with what I made, but I could be losing lumens. Um, not that I'm dissatisfied with that. I'd rather have a more efficient circuit, um, lighter load, if I still have a fairly significant lumens of output, um, which they seem to be fine. I mean, they put out a great amount of light at night. So I'm pretty happy with that. So this may make people use their harness if they want a brighter light or maybe they would more rather go to a more efficient design and design it themselves. Uh, my, my lights are all wired individually, all to separate fuse boxes. So I do have each light fused versus having a pair of lights fused. Um, and there's other, you know, all kinds of reasons I did that. But it is interesting to see that there is a load difference. So if I would have used both lights on the harness, total draw would be somewhere in the 3.2 to 3.4 amperage rating. Um, and they would be at 20, roughly about 20 watts a piece. Uh, so, and that's what the specs say. But using my own harness and not using theirs at all, I'm now at a 2. Point, it's like a 2.6, 2.5 to 2.6 amp draw. And we're talking 32 to 34 watts. Somewhere in that neighborhood. But pretty cool. I was actually very uh, curious about that. Anyhow, just figured out to throw out that little short. And uh, the Zobiex Hat Man, I'll talk to y'all later.